Hey yo, welcome back to another Sons of the Forest how to video. So um, in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to get the rebreather and the stun gun. We got a little two for one combo going. But before we get into that, you know, I just gotta make sure you're subscribed. It's like gonna be the only way you're gonna make this cave alive. So uh, yeah, just hit that subscribe button. Now, let's get on with the video. Now real quickly, if you're wondering how to get the pistol I'm holding, make sure you check out my other video I made about getting the pistol. That way you can show these cannibals how us Americans do it. Now real quickly, just put up a little map on screen for you. So this is going to be the location where that rebreather and the stun gun are. You know, it's it's a little bit of a walk from where you are most likely, but uh, don't worry about it. Get some food and some water and we'll head on over there. So this is where it's going to be. This is going to be the cave right here, right along the shore. You know, nice little scenic area. Real quickly, I'll just zoom in on my map of my hand too. That way we can get a good look. Because, you know, sometimes it's a little difficult to compare the handheld map to the big one I just showed. So this is what it looks like on your little GPS tracker phone. Now, yes, I did just pull out a flashlight. Now, if you want to see how to get that one, I'm making another video about how to get all the other smaller things. They're super easy to get, so I'm going to compile a bunch of those in one big video for you. That way, it's not just a 30-second watch. So make sure you're on the lookout for that if you want to figure out how to get this cool-ass flashlight, because it's so much better than that lighter. Alright, so we're in the cave. You're going to look around. There's going to be tons of loot around you. Feel free to grab that. Uh, you know, I'm just kind of doing a quick playthrough, so I'm only going to grab a few things. Also, that email right there, go ahead and read that. Uh, I'm just going to skip that for the sake of making the story a little bit simpler. Uh, also, one thing you'll notice when I'm walking through this cave, uh, there's no cannibals here. That's because I have this set on peaceful, because I'm not trying to deal with no cannibals while I'm doing a tutorial, but uh, you will be facing resistance down here, so that's why you're going to want that pistol. Let's go ahead and, uh, you know, keep going through the cave. Just go the same way I'm going. If you get confused, just, uh, you know, rewind the video, figure out where you are. Now, these caves are a little bit more complex than they seem. They all really go to the same place if you keep walking around. Uh, if you go down this way, this right here is going to be where that rebreather is. But real quickly, we're going to go up and get that stun gun. Alrighty, and then after a lot of walking, we're going to see this man hanging from the ceiling with a stun gun right next to him. I'm going to go ahead, walk up, grab that bad B, and ba-boom, we got the stun gun. Uh, I haven't actually used this against enemies yet, so, you know, I don't know how well it works, but I mean, hey, if you want it, it's there. Now, I'm trying to go up this way in the cave, there's a whole lot of nothing. You'll just be making a U-turn, and then we'll be on our way down to get that rebreather. So we'll go ahead and go down the way I was uh, talking about earlier. Just uh, come out the cave, hook a right, and follow it down that way. You'll end up going through another opening in the cave, I guess. And this is where the rebreather is going to be. All right, we'll make our way through here. Go ahead and give it a little crouch. We are almost at that rebreather. Should work our way up through the cave. And we come out to this little opening area. Just go ahead and walk down, and then over here on the right, get over there. Right over here is going to be that rebreather for us. So if you want, there's going to be other stuff around here. Lots of bottles, cloth, MREs, all the goods. Some bones, too. Also, again with the sharks, don't know if they can hurt you or not, so uh, I just went ahead and uh, took care of them. Yeah. 
All right, so once you get that rebreather on, you know, kill the shark if you want. Again, don't know if he hurts you. I mean, I just, you know, uh, get rid of the shark. Why is there a shark in the cave? I get rid of the shark. Now anyway, you'll just jump in the water, see a little opening, swim through, and then continue your way on out the cave. And we'll keep swimming, we'll see some light pop out in the ocean right next to the cave. Just like that, you've gotten yourself a stun gun and a rebreather, all from just one cave. So if you found this video helpful, you know, go ahead, drop a like, maybe share it with your friends if they don't know how to get the rebreather. Doing that stuff just helps the YouTube algorithm push my videos so more people can see this fantastic tutorial. Don't forget to check the playlist linked down below if you need to find any more of the items in the the Sons of the Forest. I am making tutorials on how to get pretty much everything, so don't forget to subscribe to see those when they come out. But yeah, thanks for watching guys. Enjoy the rebreather. Have a good one.